I'm Dr. Eldad Farhi. I'm a counseling and psychotherapeutic psychologist. I run psychologyexpert.co.uk and today I will be talking about psychology. To become a neuropsychologist, one would usually be first a clinical psychologist. That is, a psychologist who works with individuals requiring help. The neuropsychologist will carry that specialization even further. They will develop training, they will develop knowledge, and they will learn methods of testing and helping people whose problems are believed to derive mostly from neurological problems. To give a couple of examples, individuals who had had uh, head injuries, that is the brain has been affected, would probably develop various psychological symptoms. However, treating those would not necessarily be the same as treating those psychological symptoms that arise in an otherwise healthy brain. Thus, by trying to establish the type of damages and then ways of compensating and overcoming those damages, your psychologist would help the individual. To learn how to do that, as I said before, you become first a clinical psychologist and then you practice mostly, train mostly, within establishments, institutions which treat those people whose problems are neurological, mostly hospitals, perhaps rehabilitation centers. You develop a knowledge that is rather specialist, that it is not used by most other a applied psychologist on a day-to-day -day basis, but on the other hand, that very specialist knowledge allows you to work with those individuals whose needs are very specialized. There is no official path in the sense of you must follow an X or Y one. What you have to do is build a body of knowledge, usually under the tutelage of an appropriately qualified neuropsychologist, and once you have reached that level, you can apply to the appropriate licensing body in your country and be recognized as a neuropsychologist.